Yeah, it's cold. Let's go in this cave. What's up, P Nation? Today we are on the small Greek island of Naxos, and today we are going sailing. Naxos is very close to Paros, and they're in this very windy section of the Cyclade Islands. So knowing this, I figured sailing might be like a really viable option for us. So I went online before we got here and I found out that like most of the people are booked up. And I had this one person in mind. And so we got here and we were walking her like around like the sailboat area, pier area, and I saw his boat and I was like, oh. and then he, he was inside and so he came out and started talking to us and I asked if he had any availabilities. We're gonna be here for the next few days. And he was like, yes, I have availability for tomorrow. And we were like online, you didn't have any, but okay. So we kind of signed up, made a deposit and that's what we're doing today. So we are here on the boat Annabella with our captain George and he has a plan for us to go south. So we're not exactly sure where we're going but it's kind of a cloudy day. I'm kind of thankful for that just so that we don't get absolutely sunburned. My destiny. That was crazy. I just raised the sail. It was a lot harder. I have a new respect for sailors. <laughs> I completely missed it too because I was talking to people. Sorry. <laughs> Water is 68 degrees and it should be lovely. Prepare me for this. It gets better. No, I don't think it does. <laughs> like, I feel like you guys' reactions are like not as much as they should have been. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Let's go in this cave. So cool. I don't know if I didn't have this like noodle hanging off, I think it's so cold. 
Yeah. Put it back in the box and put it back in the box and use the recommend it to you because it was awesome. Okay, so it hasn't rained on us yet. We're so happy. We just ported for, is that how you say it? Ported? I guess so. Just docked, whatever the, yeah. whatever the term is. For lunch, it's three o'clock now. No, it's not. We're getting on the boat at three o'clock. I'm scatterbrained because the water was so cold. <laughs> That's why I can't talk right now. We are here on the island of Skanusa, mm -hmm. and it's named for that because they have a lot of flowers here called Skanus, oh. Skanu, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So we're here for lunch, and he said to walk up the tiny path towards the village, and there'll be places to eat along the way. <laughs> so we're looking for some traditional Greek food. Hopefully it'll be delicious. It probably will. Climbing to the village. I still cannot believe that English poppies are in Greece. I thought they were an English thing. What is going on? Well, this is just the village life that Leah was looking for when she booked our trip this to Greece. This is like way more off the beaten path than I expected us to get. <laughs> <laughs> we're in this like very remote island and there's not a lot of people on it. And I think there might be more path. goats than people. Yeah. <laughs> If I pet you, then Leo will break out. Can I come pet you guys? Okay, we've been looking for restaurants, but it's the beginning of season, which is really interesting because we were gonna book this trip two weeks earlier, which would have meant I don't I don't know if anything would have been here. Yeah. So we will see if we can get at a family's house, but village life so far is pretty villagey. This looks promising, but I don't know if it's open. Yes, it's getting my I love it when things you don't order come to your table. Might be the garlickiest dip I've ever tasted in my life, but it's really, really good. Okay, so now we have the biggest beans I've ever seen. This is like Jack and the Beanstalk beans. It's like the size of my entire eyeball. How <laughs> this is not a bean. Really good. It's got a crunchy outside and like baked potato type inside. And it's cooked in tomato sauce and what else? Lemon. And lemon. That's all you need. There's like very few seasonings in Greek food and this is amazing. So now we have ourselves some stuffed tomatoes and it looks like a stuffed pepper with some french fried potatoes, and then a huge piece of moussaka, which is like the lasagna, but it's potato and eggplant, and instead of cheese, they have like a bechamel sauce on top. And now we are trying to figure out how to get to the windmill. I think we found the way. Oh, there goes your phone. But I don't know. And as you guys see, we have found it. This town is beautiful. This is probably the most quaint town I think we've ever been in. Our meal was delicious. The people are so friendly. And I feel like we've experienced what Mamma Mia was. Mamma Mia, here I go again. You know, like we were looking for Mamma Mia this whole time. And I think we found I don't know if we've told you yet, but the reason all these houses are white is not because it's beautiful. It's for practical purposes. Yeah. It's for keeping the heat out. So 
So while we were in the cave, our captain was like, don't touch the rocks outside of the cave because there are tons of sea urchins. of this cliff are capers. It's been so relaxing just really learning about the Odyssey a couple days ago and all the Greek mythology we learned in school. Just like all culminating here. Just imagining being on the same sea back in those times. 3,000 years ago. I'm very sad we have to leave this boat, but our day has come to an end. And our adventure cannot go any further. We're back at Naxos. So unfortunately, we have to get off this boat, but it has been such a fun day. I'm so happy we did this. It was worth every penny. Fun. If you're ever in Zykonos, I mean, that's my name, Zach. If you're ever in Mykonos, oh wait, that's not where uh, we are. Sorry. If you're ever in Naxos. <laughs>